let's see what is loop and how to use it in VBA programming. Looping concept is an excellent technique in Excel VBA to execute any VBA statement multiple times. In Excel VBA, main loops are do by loop and for loop. So here in this tutorial, let's understand looping concept with some examples. So let me go to developer tab. I'll go to insert and then from ActiveX controls, let me select a command button and drag a command button here. Now I will double click on this command button. So I will write some VBA code to understand looping concept for click event of this command button. So let me write one VBA statement worksheets within bracket. Let me give name of this sheet that is sheet one dot cells then first row and first column dot value equal to in inverted commas hello so what this VBA line will do it will write in the first cell that means a1 value would be hello so let's check this code let me click on design mode so that I am out of design mode and let me click on this command button so we can see that that one line has written hello keyword in cell a1 now what about if I want to write same keyword here in this a2 cell then what I need to do is I'll go to this VBA editor window and just below this I will just copy and paste this VBA code and here I will change it to 2 that means row number 2 and column is same that is first so let me minimize this VBA editor let me delete these two cells. Now I'll press this command button again and it is working and we can see that hello is written in two cells. So if I need to write 10 times hello keyword or hello keyword in these 10 cells, that means I need to write this kind of code 10 times and every time this value is increasing from 1 to 2 then it would be for third line I can change it to 3 so to accomplish this task I need to write 10 lines of code now what about if I need to write hello keyword in 50 cells in a column so to avoid this lengthy code what I'll do, I'll just keep one line of code and then I will add a looping concept here. So I am going to use for loop here. So how we can write that? For, for is the keyword, then one variable, let's say i equal to 1 to 10. And then here after VBA statement, I'll write next so this is opening line for for loop and this is closing statement and between opening and closing statement whatever VBA code we write it will be executed so here we can see that for loop is running 10 times for i equal to 1 it will execute this code one time then i will be increased by 1 so i would be 2 then again it will be executed so here i would say that this for loop will run 10 times and every time if we pass here 
i value of i would be changed and this hello keyword would be printed in column a so let's see how it is working so let me delete these values now if i click on this command button we can see that for loop has written hello keyword 10 times so by using for loop we can execute any vba statement as many times we want just we need to mention here condition accordingly if we want our vba code to be executed 100 times we can say i equal to 1 to 100 understand one more example uh, let's say if I want to write 1 to 10 so how I can do that with the help of loop here let me put a comma so that this statement will be converted into commit and it will not be executed what I can do is worksheets here I'll give name of sheet that is sheet 1 dot cells i comma 1 dot value equal to if I write here i so we can see if we are passing i then we can print numbers so here we have 1 to 100 so it will print numbers till 100 and we want to check j so just for checking i am keeping it to 10 so let me minimize this let me delete all these values now if i click on this command button we can see that numbers are printed let's say i want to print a table of 5 10 or any given number we can do that with the help of loop so here what are the changes that we need to do here before for loop let me add a line dim a as integer and a equal to 5 so here what I can do is i multiplied by 5 or a so let's see let me click on this command button and we can say that this VBA code will perform to print table of 5 let's enjoy this looping concept little bit more let me go to this VBA editor here instead of supplying direct 5 what I can say a equal to input box and here I will give a message enter a number to print table so what this program will do it will ask user to give a number and table of that number will be created with this code before running this code let me delete now if I click on this command button this input box is coming enter a number to print table so this time let me type 4 if I press OK, it will give me table of 4. If I click on this command button again, and this time if I give number as 7, then when I press OK, it will give me table of 7. So these are some basics of using looping concept by taking example of for loop
let's take one example of do while loop so for that without making changes in this for loop what i'll do i'll add one more command button to understand do while loop here i will double click and let me write example for do while loop let's say a equal to 1 then do while a is less than 11 that means 10 what it should do worksheets sheet 1 dot self a comma 1 1 is for column dot value equal to 10 and then a equal to a plus 1 ending statement for do by loop is loop so what this example will do it will be run 10 times and value in a column will be printed as only 10 so let me minimize this VBA editor window let me click on this design mode now I'll press this second command button and we can see that by using do while loop we can also execute any statement multiple times so let me make this code more visible so this is how we can use loop to save our time and execute any VBA statement multiple times write our VBA code in more effective way thanks for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe to my channel for more learning tutorials